Hello folks, my name is DHG and Darkwatch, and welcome back to the long-awaited video makeup. <laughs> this channel, of course, is my main channel, DSG and Darkwatch, or Darkwatch01. I know that you guys are probably not in the best of moods with this channel. I know it's been almost four months on this channel since I've made a video. Damn, even longer. Hell, I can't keep count. Anyway, enough of the goofy theatrics. I want to talk about a couple things, and um, it, mainly in this one, I think I'll talk about. I think I've talked about this weapon before, but I'm gonna kind of shift topics back and forth here. Uh, the main one I wanted to talk about was an NG update that you won't see me using a whole lot because I don't like the weapon itself. Is called the short circuit. Secondly, I'm talking about the pomps, and the pomps did not receive an update, but it is again one of those weapons that is really fun to use, and it does make a lot of people angry. I do not know why it makes people angry but still it does now with the palms and you see I've got the gunslinger the gunslinger of course it it allows you to build a combat mini sentry as it is called and it also gives you plus 25 health the downside is of course it lets you build a combat mini sentry the combat mini sentry does have less health and I, I did have the briefcase right there and I was just gonna return it um, now the, the only real downside that I can find with the palms is really the lack of, how do I put it, the lack of focus it has. Um, it used to be really good, I mean like stupidly good. In the means for stupid, I mean it used to actually pass through people, it did less damage, but it was almost like a, snipe, a slow moving sniper bullet. The moment you fired it, right through the air. You just couldn't get away from it. The moment it was fired, it was going through the air. <laughs> and it, it had the same thing like the Righteous Bison did. Uh, this is a couple of my friends. This is uh, Black Mage. Oh, excuse me. I have something in my mouth. Oh, uh, get out. But anyway, um, this weapon was, like I said, modestly uh, good. And it was stupidly good before. Now, the Righteous Bison has the effect that when you shoot it, it passes through people. It penetrates people. Anyway, um, basically what it was was a reskin of the Righteous Bison, but better for Engineer. Because what the Pompson does is it takes away 10% Uber Charge and 20% Cloak from Spies. Uber Charge respected to the Medic. Now, now it works much like a shotgun. It does this, depending on how far you are away, it does that much damage for, like, if you had a shotgun. So if you were up close, you'd be doing about 80 damage. If you were far away, you're going to be doing maybe like 30-something. Either way, it's a, it's a constant number that won't go away. And on crit, oh, on crit it's 180, just like a shotgun. You, you just can't escape it. I think a crit comes up here soon, and you will see that it really does wreck people. Like I said, I am using combat mini sentry, so I've got it placed in the most odd spot. Because I'm actually trying to save the other engineer sentry from getting into too much danger up there, as you can see. Since I am using a disposal, I am actually running more forward in battle than he is, and I am being more aggressive, the aggressive battle engine. Now, this really does help in a lot of situations, but the one that it really doesn't help is when they get too close. And I really do sound like some kind of announcer right now. See, these are the crits. It does get crits. I was actually kind of... I'm still kind of on the fence that this weapon shouldn't get crits because of how powerful it is. It's like a long-range shotgun. And you see? Right there. I shot from around the corner and just ducked. But it's like a long-range shotgun. You just can't escape that damage. What's nice is you can do what I just did right there. You can light uh, sniper's arrows on fire. And you saw right there, it just eats away spies. They don't even stand half a chance. They're just done. Um, this weapon really is good. And I really would say, people, please, 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 please use it. Don't call it stupid. Don't call it a new weapon. It's really a fun weapon to use. If you try it, you will not be disappointed. Now, another one I was going to talk about is a short circuit. Short circuit's gone through three phases. The first phase is when it was first introduced through the Deus Ex Machina update. This update, the weapon was just useless. Then recently they buffed it, where it costs five metal, and five metal allows you to shoot it, and it shoots rapid, like rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. And it was really, really, really powerful at the time. You just, it, it was a weapon you used. You, you, use it, NG, good. Now, it did consume metal, and metal is what NG need to build their thing, Yeehaw, Texas Man. Um, like I said, the only real downside to the weapon that I really find now is that it is kind of noobish in the sense that it, you just do it. There is no thinking. You just, 
<laughs> dead. Now it now what it does is it quote unquote deletes projectiles. So say a sniper or a demo man or a soldier was shooting at me, I just pull out short circuit, boom, boom, boom they can't kill me. Now they've actually recently updated it, and I know I'm talking really fast because I don't have a lot of time, but they did update it to where now instead of five ammo, it's fifteen metal. But if you manage to hit something, it's only five, and they show and they slow down the fire rate, because it used to be. Now it's like, it's a little bit slower, but not as slow. And that's one of those crits I was talking about. 180 damage, just you can't escape. There's nothing you could have done. Now, as I let you go, I want to say thank you for watching the video, and I do really hope you enjoy it. There will be more. Later!